What's up, everyone? I'm Timothy Online Jr. This is Mile in Asylum. Troll, a Netflix film. In the same style, almost, if you will, as Troll Hunter. Um, it's a live action film about the lore of trolls except singular in this movie because it's about a troll um but just imagine if in a world where you know fairy tales did exist it's it's a beautiful thing yet scary at the same time and then i wanted to absolutely love this film i wanted it to be just a solid 10 out of 10. But the whole film focuses more on the obvious um, doom that um, is a threat upon humanity. Um, it's, it's basically Armageddon with a troll. But, you know, there's some um, you know, more or less, um, kind of human reactions with this troll as far as it, as far as it not being just a monster, but, um, there's a lot of questions that I have after watching this film that just don't add up and I'm not gonna make any spoilers here I'm not gonna bring them up but really I just want to let you know that there are like some whys and they you don't get any answers um, they did kind of open it up for kind of a sequel so let's hope that if they do make a sequel it's better than this one Like I said, I really want to love this film because it was just so well made. And it is dubbed over. Um, but the acting's still good. There are some <coughs> horrible decisions that were uh, made. Like there's this one part where they discover something and then people are like, speech, speech. And there's like no need for a speech it, it just doesn't make any sense it's just kind of just really a cringe a moment where you're just like oh my god why are we doing this in the film and then there's another time where we only have 10 minutes i'm gonna make a speech and can give a minute and a half speech where now you only have eight and a half minutes left to uh, accomplish a quote unquote timed goal <laughs> to succeed in your mission and you're just like it doesn't work why are we doing this it was just really bad and really bad uh, it was just yeah but um now the movie is shot beautifully the cinematography the directing um like i said the acting and overall, it was a pretty decent film. I just wish they would have um, went more into um, trolls in the background and things like that. Um, they do a, a, a smidge, but not really. And then there's a lot of questionable directions that they went with uh, the father and daughter um, relationship and then um, there's also um, a troll quote unquote expert yet wasn't really an expert at all about this said troll it was just kind of like and you see this a lot in films where um, 
what was it, the Day Shift, the one with uh, Jamie Foxx and Dave Franco. Um, if you haven't seen that movie, I'm not, I'm not trying to spoil anything, but there's this part where Dave Franco should have said something very specific as um, to interpret as to what kind of vampire, um, quote unquote, someone is, but did not do so, and it it really ruined the movie. It, like it was like you you failed a great opportunity to like push the score up, but you chose to. Uh, either forget all about it or or I don't know what but yeah that happens a lot in films but my point is is um, they do that in this troll movie um, but yeah if you want to watch a troll movie go watch Troll Hunter and like I said this one it was a good popcorn ish movie but it wasn't as great as it could have been and so it's sitting at a 6.1 out of 10 that's your review I'm Timothy Almeyer Jr. until next time